I mean New Zealand, on a mission to unlock one of the world's best kept food secrets. Maori cuisine. I feel like I'm at the end of the earth because the next stop is Antarctica. What I know about the food of this isolated country could be written on a grain of rice. So I'm starting on the remote and wild Stewart Island, known by the Maori as Reki Ora. I'm here to meet Monique Friso. Now she's a super talented up and coming Kiwi chef and she's really blazing a trail, putting Maori cuisine firmly on the map. She's somewhere down there in the middle of nowhere. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Mm -hmm. You good? I'm great. What an amazing place. Welcome to New Zealand. Monique Fizo is one of New Zealand's top chefs. Trained in Michelin-style restaurants, but passionate about her Maori heritage. She's on a one-woman mission to blend the food of her ancestors with the world of fine dining. Now, I've never, ever ventured into that Maori cuisine. So what do I need to understand? There's four main ecosystems. There's the oceans and the river. Mm -hmm. That's Tongaroa, god of the sea. And then there's the mountains uh -huh. and the forest. Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother. Papa what? Papa Tuanuku. OK, Papa Tuanuku. Papa Tuanuku. <laughs> Papa Tuanuku. That's the one. It's a complex cuisine. There's a lot of customs involved. It's not just about you know, growing food and just making it. There's right. a lot of, like, different traditions that are interwoven in all of the food. The Maori first arrived in New Zealand on pioneering voyages from Polynesia in the 13th century. Although they brought some crops with them, much of their diet relied on hunting and gathering from the forest and ocean. A tradition which Maori chefs like Monique are keeping alive through their cooking. Now, foraging, is it big on the menu here? It is big on the menu here. A lot of the time, it's the only way to get your hands on these ingredients. Wow. And as you can see, I've got two machetes, one of which is for you. That's my machete? That's your machete. <laughs> Ask all the chefs at my restaurant. We I, all own a machete each. I know, but you don't walk <laughs> home at night with this thing, do you? No, you would tuck it in our backpack. You tuck it in your backpack. <laughs> These machetes are lethal. Monique is a woman I'm definitely not going to argue with, especially when she's on the hunt for wild food. So this is not like walking down a uh, supermarket aisle. No, this is uh, one of the hard work we do to get the food we need to eat. They're everywhere. Monique, really? Yeah. Seriously? Keep going, chef. But these vines yeah. are more than just a jungle gym. At their tip is a secret Maori delicacy. So these are the young shoots that come off the vines, and they're super tender. Wow. You can eat that? You can eat that. They're hard to find. It's like bush asparagus. Give it a try. They're really good. They are good. Mm. They are like asparagus. Mm. So soft and delicate. Yeah. Delicious. All I can see in this tangled forest are potential personal injury claims. Oh, here's a good one. But for Machete Monique, it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. What's that? Hotapito. Hotapito. Yeah, it's a native bush pepper tree. Wow. It's super spicy, super peppery. Have a munch on that. Wow. Boy, that one's spicy. Ooh. That is spicy. That's incredible from mm. that. Quite numb now, my tongue. Yeah. From hot. And it's going to stay that way for is a it? while. <laughs> <laughs> 